All right, Shalom. We want to start by giving all praise and glory to you. How about Shemir? How about Shemir? Kakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Akimah that pushing the word of sincerity and the truth. Yeah, I just want to um really want to chime in on this article. It um you know stuck out in the spirit, of course. Um, more evidence, foolproof evidence that America is is, is uh, basically falling, is being uh, crushed uh, little by little. You know, locally, uh, in these, uh, you know, municipalities, so to speak, these cities, the government, um, and, uh, you know, on hold, these elites are, are losing their grip on America. And um, it's getting harder for, you know, us brothers in the, the, the faith that are of the hopefully elect due to the fact that, you know, when uh, society's crashing, when uh, things fall, the uh, shock waves first and foremost um get pushes on the you know the, the common citizen you know and uh that's why i'm gonna entitle this lesson basically it's only one way to um basically get out the clutches of this so-called white man in this system is through the power spirit and power of your how about shimmer out shop when we was in ancient babylon we couldn't um elevate ourselves financially you know, economically to get up out of the cusp of that, that hell in Babylon. Same thing with the Medo-Persian um, uh, uh, joint kingdom. Same thing with Greece and Rome. Those kingdoms, when they were, uh, when we were in them, they were basically an albatross on our neck. You know, they, um, it was a constant vex. You know, they were a thorn on our, in a, in a side of, of us as a nation. Anything that we did as a people, you know, it, it was hard. And one major thing which this article is going to go into that these all these nations uh put on us was uh heavy taxes man you know they um they put uh put us under tribute which when you go into tributaries that's that's uh taxpayers so it says taxpayers in america's 10 biggest cities facing average per taxpayer debt uh excuse me per uh, of fifty thousand dollars in debt incurred by the country state and or off balance sheets transactions by city government entities according to the truth and accounting the taxpayer burden TIA explains is is the amount residents will have to pay to cover all of government debt when the unfunded debt of these underlying government units is combined with the country county municipal and state debt city taxpayers are on the hook for much more than they think according to TIA um I'm going to jump down to the part with Chicago. Chicago taxpayer burden equates to $119,000 in debt per taxpayer, a number that includes debt from Chicago public schools and the state of Illinois. Berg, Bergman's said the most significant burden on taxpayers is from CPS. He added CPS has separate financial le uh, ledgers. Right, and, and the, the hell that's being thrown on these taxpayers is not due to... Um, these taxpayers basically being irrational and um, not being good with the money is going towards the, the federal budget and what they can't actually fully uh, take care of. The debt is falling on you, you American citizens, man, you know. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's used in all kind of eloquent speech, you know, eloquent uh, words, as it is written in Daniel the 8th cha chapter through his policy um he shall uh, destroy many, you know, through peace he shall destroy many, uh, and it's all through his policy, and this is one of the uh, main policies, because policy goes into what? Politics, all right, po and, and um, taxes and all these different things, those are forms of politics, because politis goes into what? The people, all right, politis um, de deals with the, um, the, the city's uh, citizens, and what goes on in the nat the the uh, common man's household, what they have to deal with, and you see in these different cities, the the citizens or the people are catching all uh, manner of hell, man. All right, and uh, when you go to the debt clock, you see that the American debt clock is is still running up. I uh, looked at it, it was twenty two million, excuse me, trillion. The federal debt twenty two trillion, and the numbers are are constantly going up. Then he said the average um, debt per citizen, like on this article, was said around fifty thousand. 
but uh, in certain areas it's even higher. So these are the top, you know, taxpayer burdens, you know, according to you know public schools and all these different things uh, added up, and you see it's one hundred and nineteen thousand dollars per taxpayer. And um, I'm gonna jump down to this point. It says following Chicago, New York's combined taxpayer burden. 85,600 Los Angeles combined taxpayers, 56,390 Philadelphia combined taxpayers, 50,000. Here's a rank of the combined taxpayer burdens for taxpayers living in the 10 largest cities from best to worst. Number one, Phoenix, negative 13,000. San Antonio, 16,000, negative. Houston, negative 22,000. 940. Dallas, negative 33,000. San Diego, negative 35,000. San Jose, negative 43. Philly, 50,000. Negative um, LA, negative 56. New York, negative 85. And, sh and Chicago, 119,000. Negative. Um, and I mainly wanted to highlight that, you know, just to show you that it's, it's getting bad out here, man. It's, it's, it's horrible out here. It's going to get nothing but worse. Second, there's a 19th chapter says, you know, all kingdoms have a beginning and an end. The end is being manifest. And it's being manifest before our eyes that uh, this place is falling, man. It's crumbling. Uh, like I said, city by city, state by state. I'm going to continue on. It says the debt facing school districts in Dallas, Houston, and San Antonio don't add nearly as much to the total debt burden facing taxpayers in those cities as much most others of the largest 10 cities we study bergman added still one might have expected better overall financial conditions for those texas cities in light of economic and demographic trends in the last decade right so some one would believe that the conditions of texas in certain cities would be a lot better due to the like i said the trendings uh due to the attractions and uh, all these you know, all these things that these uh, cities actually bring to the federal economy, how they, how they, um, how they actually bring, you know, uh, uh, funds, so to speak, to these different, to the state alone, to the uh, bordering states. And federally, you would think that these cities would be in a way better state, but they're not, you know. So this shows that this society is all smoke and mirrors, what you believe, um, the, the status that you believe America is in. Is a total facade. America is is, is um, basically a third world country. You know, you're uh, living in the worst conditions possible, especially this generation. And this uh, part of the article is going to highlight that also. It says for these cities to pay off its debts, each taxpayer would need it to fork over around fifty thousand dollars each. Zero hedge readers understand sixty thousand dollars of millennials don't have five hundred dollars in savings ahead of this next recession right so th in order for these cities to get back on um get back on board each and every individual will have to fork over 50 50 uh racks and these people are over 30 40 50 thousand dollars in debt leaving these college institutions man like i said they don't even have five hundred dollars in their uh primary uh, accounts whether it's checking and savings to actually pay off debts or get these cities going so what's going to happen? These, these the government is going to uh, result to austerity measures. You had earlier this year where Donald Trump um, shut down the government, which was a form of an austerity measure, and he basically demanded money to fund the wall. Now it's going to get a lot worse than that. You know that was just a, a preface or a um, prelude to the uh, to to more uh, basically hell that's going to come. All right. Because America's losing, is falling, losing its grips agriculturally, economically, militarily. And they're going to place the blame on certain people. That's why I said the taxpayers. That's why you have also executive orders for when a society collapses and it's in a bad uh, part or uh, in a bad s a state that people will be uh, drafted to the, uh, to the military. People will be, um, have to work federally on bridges and, and work through the uh, city's will, through these different executive orders, and they don't have any say-so. You know, you as an American citizen, you have no um, free. You know, you have no freedom of speech. You really don't have any rights at this apparent time. Everything that you have is being hacked and looked at, traced, and tracked. 
This is a dystopian uh, society, and it's going to get worse and worse. So it says, so obviously this deadbeat generation that is expecting to take over the workforce by 2024 won't have the ability to bail out America's debt, deadbeat cities in the next downturn, which leave us with the question of the day. Will the Federal Reserve bail out heavily indebted cities in the next crisis? And the answer is no. You know, these elites are money-hungry uh, bastards. And um, the money that they're actually, um, they have spiraling, which is these Federal Reserve notes, it, that itself is um, waxing, um, waxing weak. And that's according to biblical prophecy also. James 5 and 1. Go to now, you rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. And who are the rich men? That would be your uh, elitists, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimer families, the Gettys, the DuPonts, Vanderbilts. All these are multi-billion dollar um, families. And if you want to be technical, they have enough money to bail out um, the, the U.S. government. But see, they have plans to usher in... Uh, of, of collapsing this economy to reintro reintroduce a, a new system and a new monetary style of currency which that uh, currency will be microchip microchipping and um, transaction transactions through uh, basically chips so it says your riches are corrupted and the riches are what the uh, the money all right you had a couple years ago you had the uh, quantitative easing, you know, I think it went to QE4, then it went to QE Unlimited, which was mass producing um, of of the Federal Reserves to actually basically push out in the economy to, to level the playing field, which in turn, that's what, uh, that uh, uh, results in inflation, man. You had the uh, country of Zimbabwe years, years ago, decades ago, that they had, um, you know, their, their currency was uh, fluctuating for a time and then it collapsed and that same thing is going to happen to America so the riches of um, America are corrupted and it says in your garments are moth eaten your gold and silver is cankered and, and that also happened in ancient Rome when when Rome fell one of the main things was what the fall of the denarius all right which would be the gold and silver standard at that time it says and the rest of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire Ye have heaped together treasure together, excuse me, ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entering to the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. And the, the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth is Yahweh Shai. Alright, the word Sabaoth goes into the uh, Lord of Armies. Alright, and the Lord of Armies is going to free us. And redeem us from this wretched captivity out of these debts. Alright. And punish the wicked. Alright. Because this so-called white man has us in the grips and the grasp of his uh, society. And he doesn't want to let, let us go just like in ancient Egypt. Moses came personally to Pharaoh. And told him on numerous occasions to let the Israelites go. And Pharaoh batted the hand. So how much more of these elites that uh, took down the, the ancient uh, empires. The ancient Egyptians, Medes. Persians, they have the uh, ancient ideologies and the, the worships and the the spirit uh, of these ancient kingdoms ge generating in their society. They have a high level of pride. And the Most High, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, is going to crush that pride and he's going to free us out of his captivity. So, you know, you brothers that's um, basically feeling the direct or indirect whippings of America, you know, hold fast, man, you know, because. This, this society is on its way out, and we have to, uh, you know, as it is written, it, the hell is going to be like a, a, a woman in travail until it basically brings forth the sun, and the sun is Yahweh Shai that's going to uh, be delivered to deliver us. So I want to end it by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash, dub honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, and Shalom Makim.